Let's talk about sharing scores. We've identified in NoteFlight Learn that you have a NoteFlight score in the editor, which we talked about here. And then we have this idea of a sound check score, which is this. So either of these can be shared with other students or teachers. So sharing scores in NoteFlight Learn using activity templates. When you assign a NoteFlight score for an assignment, you'll always want to use the activity template option. What this means is any student that opens your score is automatically given their own unique copy for them to complete. And I'll show you what this looks like with both NoteFlight and SoundCheck. So oops, in a NoteFlight score, you will immediately see in this score details panel, I'm going to share this score. Now when I share this, you have two options, right? Allow members to view, comment, or edit, or create activity template. I'm gonna select create activity template. Anything you want your students to complete, you almost always wanna hit create activity template. So now, who has access? Anyone that has access to your site, uh, maybe just a group or maybe just an individual, right? So I usually hit all site members because I have to give them the link. And now you can copy this link and send it to your students. Now when a student opens this, they get their own copy. So let me actually pull up one that's fully completed so you can see what this looks like. This is the cooking show where I like mixed all the ingredients, but now I'm just gonna walk over to the rotisserie oven and pull up a delicious looking chicken. All right, so here's this. So here's recording in NoteFlight Learn. Now, here's a recording exercise. I have shared this as an activity template. Now, it says there are 20 copies. Every time a student opens one, they get their own copy. This is super cool because you can click and see every student's individual score right here. And you can go in and I'm gonna look at Bobby's version. So now I am teacher John, but I'm looking at Bobby's version of this score and I can comment and give feedback and all of that. So that's how you share as an activity template. Now the same thing works in sound check. So let's say I want to assign Shenandoah to my students. Well, I go into share and I'm actually in the way, let me get out of the way. I go into share over there and I will hit share score create activity template. Now with sound check, you, you still have who will access, so you can select who gets the assignment, but there's a couple other options. Anytime you uh, create an activity template, you can choose in sound check, do I want to change the score goal? Do I want to change the difficulty of the assessment? And do I want to limit attempts? So with the sound check activity template, you can say, okay, every student that gets a copy, they have to have the hardest, most strict level of assessment and I'm only gonna give them one attempt to complete it, maybe three will be a little nicer, but I want them to get 85%. And you also have two modes. Unlocked mode is what I've been showing. Students can play with all the controls. Locked mode means that students are absolute, or students cannot change any settings. So if I wanted to share a score in lock mode as a teacher, I would go in and say, you could only hear the metronome, you can't hear the cursor, I'd like you to do this a little quicker, let's try it at 78 BPM, and I'd only like you to play the first measures so i'm setting this up right you can set all of this up in sound check now i've got it exactly how i want my students to experience it you hit share you go into locked mode the students get all the settings you set and they cannot change them so you have two different modes and it's totally up to you of how you want to use that i'll make it hard i'll give them three attempts i'll set it to 85 or 83, all site members done. And the same thing, you can send this link to your students, right? So that's how activity templates are used to share scores.